Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Brittany. I am a wife and a mother and a lover of all things makeup and skincare. So today I am clearly filming on my floor. <laughs> this is not my usual setup. This is not how I normally film my videos, but I am going to be doing my lip gloss declutter and I honestly was just like, I'm already on the floor to do this declutter. Like, why not? just stay on the floor and film my intro and outro. So I will not lie to you guys, I am a much, much more cutthroat in this declutter than I have been in my previous declutters. My previous declutters, I've basically just been like curating my collection and getting it down just a little bit. Yeah, not so much this time around. I uh, decluttered about a third of my lip glosses, which I'm pretty proud of. Um, and honestly, my motivation behind that is just because we just found out that we're going to be building a house here in a few months. So in about September or October, we're going to be moving from this house and I just don't want to bring a ton of of products with me that I'm just not going to be using. So yeah, I figured I'm going to be a little bit more cutthroat. I'm probably going to be this way for the next few declutters. So yeah. And just so you guys know, I know that I have a ton of makeup, way more than anybody ever needs, but I did receive a ton of these products in PR and all of the products that I'm going to be decluttering are going to be going to family or friends. I'm not just tossing them. So just want to put that all out there. I know you guys pretty much get it at this point, but I still feel like I should put it out there. So yeah, this is definitely a lot more cutthroat than my usual declutters. But yeah, if you would like to see me declutter my lip gloss collection, then go ahead and keep on watching. All right, guys, so here are all of my glosses. I currently have 33 in my collection which is honestly absolutely ridiculous seeing as I normally can finish like one to two a year and I only reach for like a handful of these uh, to begin with so yeah I definitely need to cut this down quite a bit so I'm going to first before we even get started like decluttering them I'm going to show you which ones I received in PR which means I was gifted them and I received them for free and those are the two pop ones here this Whoosh Beauty, this Grande Lips, and let's see, I know there's some other ones. Oh, all of these are pixie ones, and I believe the rest of them I purchased myself or, oh, and this I meme one. And then the rest I either purchased myself or I received them as a gift from a family or a friend. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. First, let me just say that I have five different clear glosses in my collection. Five different clear glosses. There is no world in which I need five <laughs> clear glosses in my collection. So I'm actually only going to be keeping two of them and the two that I am going to be keeping is this Grande Ellipse Hydrating Lip Plumber and this Lawless Forget the Filler. Oh, the Lawless one was actually also gifted to me. Sorry, I completely forgot about that. But yeah, I'm gonna be keeping these two, and then I'm gonna be decluttering these three. So this Pop and this Pixie one, I actually have another shade of both of these in the same formula, so I don't really feel as bad decluttering it. And then this Ulta, this is the Watermelon Waves Juicy Gloss, and guys, it is so sticky and uncomfortable, so I just don't like it um but yeah these two I actually like the formula but I have another like product in that from the same line so I know that it'd be okay if I decluttered them and kept the two that I don't have anymore from that like line you know what I mean if that makes any sense <laughs> but yeah so I'm going to be decluttering these three and then keeping the other two Okay, so I'm going to be keeping these two, this Pop and this Pixie, because these are the other two in that same, like, line that I was talking about. So, these are both plumbing glosses, and they're really, really nice. I actually like them because they're plumbing, but they don't, like, burn the lips. But, yeah, definitely going to be keeping these two. I love the shades of both of them. They're so unique, especially for a gloss, you know? Okay, so these two Tower 28 lip glosses are two of my favorite in my entire collection. These are their lip jellies. I have the shade Cashew and then the shade XOXO. These are just so, so nice. This is one of my favorite gloss formulas, so I will definitely be keeping these two. I will also be keeping this Kosas Wet Lip Oil in the shade Dip. I love this gloss so, so much. So yeah, definitely want to keep this one. One that I'm definitely going to be decluttering is this Huda Beauty Lip Strobe in the shade Angelic. I've had this in my collection for a very long time, and honestly, 
I don't even know the last time I reached for it, so it just needs to go. Okay, so for these next few, I'm going to see if I can find dupes for shades, because if I can, then I will declutter one of the shades, basically. So let's start with these two. I feel like they might be very similar. This is the Ulta Beauty in Harry Potter Platform 9 and 3 quarters, and then this is the Buxom Lip Gloss in the shade Peach Daiquiri. So let me do some swatches of these, and we'll see. So this first one is Buxom. And then we will do the Ulta one. All right, so that is Ulta. Those are actually not similar at all. So, I, But I bet I can find a dupe for this for sure. So I'll go ahead and keep Peach Daiquiri because I don't feel like I'm going to find anything else that's similar to that shade. But I bet I can find a ton of shades that are similar to this one. So let's try Okay, so I feel like these are actually going to be so similar. This is the other Ulta and Harry Potter, and this one is Spectra Specs. I bet you they're very similar because they're kind of more clear. Okay, so yeah, they're similar, but I don't know if they're like the exact same. They're pretty similar, though. I just feel like on the lips, they probably look identical. So I'm actually going to be keeping platform nine and three quarters and getting rid of Spectra Specs because I'm just not super into like pinky shades, but I feel like this is pretty. So I'm going to be doing that. Also, guys, I just want to say that I fully was like obsessed with this collection when it came out and felt like I needed every single product. And here I am a year later decluttering like half of the products so that just goes to show that you do not need to purchase every single thing in a line you just waste your money <laughs> so i feel like this fenty gloss in the shade confetti and this pixie gloss in the shade parfait are probably fairly similar to each other so let's swatch them so this is the fenty beauty and then this is the pixie Oh my gosh, yes. So the only difference that I can see in these two is that the glitter in the Fenty one is more blue and then the Pixie one is more pink, but they're so, so similar. And honestly, I'd rather have pink glitter than blue glitter, so I'm going to get rid of the Fenty and keep this Pixie. So I feel like this NYX gloss in Tiramisu and this Kylie gloss in the shade Cupcake might be similar. We'll find out. So this first one is... Highly, super pigmented. I don't really use it very often, can't you tell? And then this is the NYX Butter Gloss in Tiramisu. So that is what they look like side by side. And honestly, I feel like they're similar enough. I know that this is definitely more orangey and this is definitely more pinky, but I honestly rarely reach for the Kylie one. I use the NYX one all the time. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter the Kylie one and keep NYX. Let me actually try this pixie one next to those two. I feel like it's not as pigmented, but we're gonna see. Yeah, it's definitely a lot more sheer. Just kind of wanted to swatch and see, but I bet that this is super similar to these two from Buxom, so let me swatch them. Okay, so first we have pixie in the shade Sweet Nectar, which I know I already swatched, but there it is again. And then we have this Buxom in the shade Mai Tai. feel like they're going to be pretty similar. Yeah, they're pretty similar, but this Mai Tai is a lot darker, and actually it's a lot more fun. And then we have the Buxom Trixie. All right, so let's do that. Okay, there's Trixie. And then I also want to do this ColourPop Sailor Moon. Okay, so there's Sailor Moon. So I feel like <laughs> they all look fairly similar. 
So what I'm actually thinking is that I'm going to be keeping Sailor Moon and this Trixie gloss and then decluttering the other two because I feel like this is very similar to this one, this Buxom, and then this one is also similar to all of them. So yeah, I'll be keeping Trixie and the ColourPop Sailor Moon and decluttering the other two. I'm definitely being a lot more cutthroat this time, but it's just because like I have so many glosses that I don't even use and then on top of it we're moving so I just feel like why bring a whole bunch of products with me that I'm not going to use it just seems really really silly okay so these three I feel like look pretty similar so let's swatch them this one is Ulta Howler from that same Harry Potter I know this one is a little bit more pigmented than the other ones oh I love that shade this one's my favorite I think out of those glosses so I know that if any of the other shades are similar, I'll probably be keeping this one. This is ColourPop Luxe Lip and Tied Up. Let's see here. Um, oh, I feel like that's some more similar than I was actually expecting. So that's good. That means I might get rid of one. And then this is ColourPop Disney Designer in the shade Boo. There is also the shade Bibbity and Bobbity. <laughs> Okay, so looking at these three, I feel like they are all so, so similar. Um, and I know that this is just silly, but I actually think I'm going to be keeping the Ulta one and this ColourPop one because they're similar, but I actually use those more than the other one. So I'll be keeping these two, even though they are very similar, and then I'm going to be decluttering this one. So I also forgot that this I Do Care lip oil was also sent to me in PR, but I'm going to keep both of these because they're both like super, super new to my collection. And so I want to use them more before I decide if I want to keep them or not. But yeah, I actually really like this lip oil so far. And then this I've only tried once. So I want to keep them for a little bit longer just to see. So honestly, guys, this ColourPop Disney Villains in the shade Hot Headed, I have kept it around for so long because I love Hades but I hate this color and I don't really love the applicator it's one of those like brush style applicators so I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of it because I'm not using it and even though it's a Disney collection that doesn't mean I need to keep it around all right guys we're down to the final few here and <laughs> I'm not really quite sure what I'm going to do yet I know I'm going to keep this Fenty gloss in the shade Fussy because it's my favorite of the Fenty gloss bombs. So I'm going to go ahead and keep that. But the rest of these guys, I don't really know what I'm doing, honestly. Okay, I'm going to actually just swatch them all and then we'll make our decision from there. So this is the NYX Filler Instinct in the shade Sparkling Please. I feel like it's just like a pretty plain gloss, yep. I know this is like a lip plumping gloss. I haven't used it very often. This is the Fenty Gloss Bomb in the shade Cheeky. This is pretty. Yeah, that's really pretty. Then this is the Pixie in the shade Bonbon. Okay. And then this one here is Whoosh Beauty in the shade Glam Peach. Sorry, I keep knocking into my tripod. Okay, so here they all are. And what I'm thinking is that I will keep the Fenty Gloss Bomb and then also keep the Whoosh Beauty and then declutter the other two because I just know I'm not going to reach for them. So there we go.
right guys so here they all are these are the ones that i'm going to be decluttering and these are the ones that i'm going to be keeping so i'm keeping 20 glosses and getting rid of 13. honestly this was even more cutthroat than i was expecting but i'm pretty happy with that i feel like i'm definitely going to get a lot more use out of these now that it's a lot smaller of a collection here let me let me get rid of these swatches because it's kind of gross Anyway, yeah, I feel a lot happier now that this is all that I have. I feel like I'm going to get a lot more use out of them. And I'm glad that I don't have just like a ton of dupes now of each other. Because I feel like with glosses, if you have a formula that you like, you're going to end up getting a lot of dupes if you have multiple different types of glosses. So you might as well just keep the formulas that you like and then declutter the formulas that you don't. Now that's not necessarily true with these. I do like some of these formulas, but I have other products from other brands that are like the exact same shade so I just feel like it's silly to keep this many for no apparent reason so yeah I feel much much happier with only having 20 glosses in my collection all right guys so yes that is everything I feel so good now that my collection is down quite a bit I mean I feel like with lip glosses like as long as you have a formula that you love like that's what you should pretty much stick to so I just have so many products that are like the same shade and I just I felt like it was a lot easier for me to declutter my lip glosses than it was my previous products so yeah I feel so so good about it I know that it was a lot but I feel good about it. <laughs> so yeah, make sure to let me know down below what declutter would you like to see next in this series because I would love to film what you guys are interested in seeing. Make sure to like this video before you go and subscribe and I'll see you guys in a few days with another video. Bye guys.